Podcast Ranger. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, Mr. Guy. Yes. Yes, Mr. Batsu. I'll get on it right away. Thank you. Bye bye. I'll tell him. All right, guys. That was uh, Amatsu Guy. So we're officially all joined up with Zai Enterprise. All hail Zai Enterprises. So yeah, they just sent me. Uh, he just sent me this thousand driver, uh, courtesy of Zai Enterprise. I think it's the mass-produced one, though, so I don't think you'll actually henshin with oh, it. Oh, yeah, no, it's the non-actual henshin version. It's just a replica. But, like, and I got, it, it, I got my Zaya specs. Uh, yeah, and we, uh, we got, I got Tom and I Zaya shirts, so they're really cool. Um, so he did ask me I have to test the driver on the show, because they're sponsored by Zaya. It's in the contract. Okay, so... Uh... All right, so here we go. Hey, she. When the final words cross, the golden soldier Fowser is born. Presented by Zaya. Woo! And then this video got immediately flagged. Fucking probably. <laughs> you got a copyright strike by Zaya Enterprise. <laughs> yeah. We were going to make $1,000 in uh, uh, ad revenue. Now we're going to get 1,000 emails. Welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, everyone. Presented by Zaya. I am your host, uh, Thouser Caster Lane. Thouser Caster? Yeah, Thouser Caster. <laughs> I am, uh, I am uh, uh, Savage Thouset Caster. <laughs> oh, it's chaos today. It's, th- it's me, Thouser Caster Lane. All his Thouserness glory. Ha <laughs> ha! I reluctantly made that for him. It, it just looks like an evil yellow caster. I know it does. Yes. Like an evil lure yellow caster. <laughs> Anyways, so not only do we have all five core casters in the house tonight, but joining us for the first got, time in quite a long time. I just got beaten by Egos. Sorry for ruining. No one's getting context on that. It's Shadowcaster. Hi, Shadowcaster. Hey, Shadowcaster Ransack Rans- Vendugal. I don't know anymore. Uh, <laughs> Vendugal. Let's go with that. We'll workshop now. it. Spin- You'll have a new roll call done for the main show. Spindugal. Are you sure? Are you sure he's not Raven because he has a DS in his hand? That's true. Hey, that is true. What do you get when you combine a Shadowcaster with a Castrator? Bindoodle! <laughs> wow. Uh, Sick that. Game Grumps reference that you tripped over. <laughs> ah! It was so bad. Why does Sogo have such it? a long neck? I only look at Sogo's long neck. Oh no! Because he really stuck his neck out to make that show work. Anyways, uh, so... Sogosaurus. Yeah, so if you are tuning into us for the first time, this is our show where we talk about all the news that happened in the Tokuverse over the last week. Yep, I love Zaya. So, uh, yeah, first news, Lane got his goddamn fucking thousand driver. It's beautiful. I love it so much. I now own you, all... You insisted that our dealer fucking expedite the shipment. Yep. Because you wanted it that so, bad. So, uh, we sent them the <laughs> news links, right? Oh, yeah. Is that Clifford as Tier Yeah, it's Tier the big red... Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I'd watch that. <laughs> Apparently they're coming out with a live-action Clifford movie? Yeah. yeah. I'll watch it. I love Clifford the Big Red Dog. I used to watch the cartoon all the time. I remember the cartoon. God damn, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Clifford Bingo! Hey, look, that's where Uwe's been. Oh. <laughs> oh, she... Oh, what was her name? Something Elizabeth? Emily Elizabeth. Emily Elizabeth. That's right. That's so weird for a girl to have, like, two names. Like In other Photoshop news, I made this. this not that. <laughs> this. It's ta- it's Takashi from Gridman is Joker's body. For context, yeah, listen in to that episode of Ultra Ranger once out. It was an actual yeah. Food Network cake challenge. Focused it was on supposed Pokemon. to come out today, then fuck, I ended up working all day. All yeah. right, so we did talk a lot about Kira Major in our last episode, but now we have some more information now that the actual press conference happened this week. So let's get into our first Kira Major story. Uh, first thing we have is the cast of the main Rangers. Okay. Uh, well, can I talk about the Pink Ranger first? Because that's, like, the most mind-blowing thing. Sure. So, the Pink Ranger is... Uh, Kirame Pink is the actor who played Cannon from Conrad or Ghost. So many cannons! So many cannons! And now, 
It is canon. Yeah, and apparently, according to her, this is, like, her dream to, like, be a part of Super Sentai, so... Fuck Kamen Rider! <laughs> so at least someone went somewhere from Kamen Rider Ghost. Ooh, no. <laughs> They're all... The actors are all good people. Hey, Onari's in, like, New York or whatever now. Holy shit. wonder if he still has, like, the giant hair. <laughs> Oh my now, god. But look at them. They all look good. The Green Ranger. Looks okay, yeah, adorable. let's talk about this. The uniforms. Mwah! Yeah, gorgeous! Nice. You know what those remind me of? <coughs> uh, Jew Ranger. Because Jew Ranger, they had those like really fancy kind of like medieval suits. Yeah, they, they, like, they're the like, caveman suits. Yeah. It kind of looks like Magi Ranger, and appropriately so. Oh no, it's heavily on Magi Ranger because it's a. Uh... <laughs> Based on this, what we've seen, it looks like they come, they kit bash uh, Magi Ranger and Go Ranger. <laughs> Like, uh, here's this image. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Download it. God. It's so far. I had to download it. Yeah, that's like there the mock ups that they do. Um, I was about to say that didn't look very good. That just reminds no, yeah, me of the Sally the Camel what, thing from Barney. Yeah, that's yeah. what they do when they, um,. They don't have the effects yet, so that people are able to. Interact. Oh, I know. I just I was joking in the context of uh, that doesn't look like a good Kiramichi resort. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, yeah. so let's get into the cast. The our Red Ranger, Ranger, our Red Ranger is Juru, played by Rio Komiya. His, his name is fucking Jewel. Yep. God damn uh, it! It is. It's Jewel. It's a pun on <laughs> Jewel. I heard them say it in the in the the fucking trailer, and I was like. Tokyo Ichigo's name is Light. No, they're all names are based off Light. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah, Lucky. So, Takaharu. So, so Red is apparently a high school student with artistic talent who meets the other Kira majors when he tries to draw their battles. Oh, good. So he is Light because he's got the most imagination! No. 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 Juru's got the chalk. Chalk, <laughs> chalk, chalk, chalk. Chalk, chalk, chalk zone. <laughs> Juru's got the chest. So I have a little extra news here. Uh huh. Uh, I have the the translation for the words of the theme song. Okay, we'll, we'll get into the theme song in a sec. Let's okay, just let these. me know because uh, I found the the like just released on Reddit. Uh, the yeah theme song. One of my articles mentions the theme song, so you'll know when. This is definitely not a shtick. Okay, definitely not a shtick. Okay, so next is Kirame Blue, who is Shiguru, who's played by Atomu Mizuishi. Which apparently he was Crow in one of the Garo things. Cool. And he is apparently a stunt actor, and we saw in the trailer that he apparently plays a samurai in one of the things he's in. Uh, and apparently, oh, I saw, like, the, we're talking about Blue, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, apparently, yeah, he was in Garo. He was like, Gar just mentioned Are you that. fucking I'm spacing sorry, out sorry, that? Sorry, every sorry, episode! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry. I legit just said that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you talk about the Sentai? Civil War 4! Did you talk about he was in Sentai as well? As what? That's literally a stunt. I need to remember, but I'm sorry. Someone look it up. I legit did not hear you say that. Next, Kirame Yellow, whose name is Tame Tomo, played by Rui Kihara, who is a fucking esports gamer. The character oh, or the actor? The character. Yeah. Oh, okay, I remember now. The blue actor, he was another Forza in another Fives in, in Zio. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. There you go. But, like, wow. We have a character in Sentai who's a professional e-gamer. Well, one of them's yep. an athlete. I can't wait for it to only ever come up once. Right. right. Probably he's only going to be playing Tekken because that's the only game that's sponsored by fucking Bandai. Fucking probably. Yeah, they'll only be playing Namco Bandai games. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Kirame Green, whose name is uh, Sena, played by Yume Shinjo, and she's a track and field athlete. And Which we will see once. She's adorable, though. Yeah, and then we have Kirame Pink, whose name is Sayo, who is played by Mio Kuro, who was canon. Uh, she is a doctor who also specializes in Aikido, so... There's nothing that she can't cut. As, as, mentioned that, as we mentioned before, she's a mortal artist. <laughs> The martial art, mar damn it, martial artist. <laughs> yeah, so does she use blaze feet? We <laughs> we have a gamer and she a doctor. We have a gamer and a doctor. We have Exade split into two characters. No, that's just Guy Kerr and I doing an Ultraman orb fusion. I like it is in the trailer. You see her; she has like pink surgeon clothes on. And I was like, oh boy. Yeah. I wonder how much permission she had to get to wear that. <laughs> um. So the Zords that they have in this series are called Machine, hence Machine Sentai. Uh, so, the red fire truck is, they actually have names too, so Machine Fire, the fire truck, 
is voiced by Kenichi Suzumura, a.k.a. Ryu Taros from Denno. Can I put out your fire? I didn't hear you. Uh, the yellow one is Mashin Chavello, voiced by Mitsuo Iwata. Uh, the green sports car is unsurprisingly named Mashin Mak, or Maha. Maha. Uh, voiced by Kenji Akabane. Uh, the blue jet is voiced, or Mashin Jetter, is voiced by Genki Okawa. And the pink helicopter, Mashin Helico, is voiced by Yuki Nagaku. Is Chevello a new uh, mega form of uh, Pokemon that we... Sounds like a Pokemon name. It's the, it's the, it's the Galarian, the Galarian uh, Escalabier. Escalabier? It's yeah. A, it's a Galarian form of Rumbledum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the fucking mind blow out of this entire cast. Their mentor, Professor Murio is being played by Japanese comedian Daimao Kosaka, a.k.a. Pico Taro, a.k.a. the Pen Pineapple Apple, Apple Pen Pineapple. Guy. Yay! That's great. Amazing. I have a super. I have a sentai. Yep. Uh, Kira Major. Pretty much. There's going to be so many jokes about it. Yeah, so you can find Magi Ranger with Gohanger and you get it. Yep. The memes are aplenty over the week. <laughs> Mushroom Sentai. I was over like, oh man, I wonder if there's any memes to that. No, there are. Oh yeah. Of course. I, lo- I love pen, pineapple apple pen, so. And playing the very, very disturbing crystal bo- Buddhist baby head princess from space. <laughs> That's ter- It's terrifying. Like, it's legit. So bad. You, you, you thought Jim Carter was terrifying? I think she's terrifying. Uh, Do you have a photo? I'm sure we have one somewhere. If someone wants to pull up a photo in the Discord, Princess Princess uh, Mabusena of the pro- planet Crystallia, being played by Inori Minase. Oh boy. Uh, and then my favorite thing in this entire cast announcement: the voice of the series narrator and their henshin devices oh. is fucking Tomokazu Sugita, aka Kivat. And yeah, there's the picture of the the, the space baby. Princess. Oh, whoa, whoa. it's it, it's horrifying, and it looks like it has a bra on its no, head. No, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me if it was. Oh like my a, god, it, it does! If it was a blue version of uh, <laughs> freaking Ashi Soji Jizo, whatever. The Ashi Soji Jizo, yeah, yeah the Bankai. <laughs> god. That's, no, yeah, that's what happened if his Bankai, if his fucking Zanpakuto like broke off and became sentient, like the rest of the oh, that, that art, fucking but... filler art. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that then the dad, the king there? Yeah. But yeah, and the king is also voiced by Sugira because he voices all the equipment. Yep. It's not going to load, so I'm just... I've, I've seen weirder mentors in, in Sentai. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's the cast. Moving on I, to I, our next I, article, we also got our first look at better. the Megazord. Which is fucking oh, gorgeous. This is Kira Mazin. Never forget. One Sentai team's mentors. Yes, Blade. It's Kira. It's Kira Mazin. Like Fuji. spelled with his, like I'll spell, spell it in the chat. Kevin, one of the Sentai mentors back in the day. Or centaur. No wait. Was a dog. So this is cool, and we've already seen. Well, I'll get into it in a bit, but we've already <laughs> seen that it through. apparently starts as a three-part Megazord with just red, green, and yellow, uh, because they're the land vehicles, and then the blue and pink ones add onto it. And there's also chat, and if, I'll talk about it in a sec, but if you look closely at the blue and pink toys, it looks like the blue and pink swords form their own mech as well. Possibly with a third mech that hasn't been announced yet. Hmm. That's my guess. So really something like, like Cargator. How, how shiny they are and how... Like, well, yeah, they're called Kira Major, well, so I everything mean, but like, they actually, they could have just had them be like clear plastic, but they didn't. They went all the way and had them be all, all pearlescent. But thank... Thank Jeebus... Thank all the Jeebus. <laughs> Every single Jeebus out there. We're back to all the Zords combining together. Yeah. Not just grab one base mold, shove things on it. Yeah. That's actually really nice. Like, it's nice that they actually combine together. Mm-hmm. But on that note, I think what they're going to do is release more Zords that combine to these things. Because not a lot of people have noticed... This is our first Sentai since Zuodra where we don't have gimmick items. Well, Luke Pat didn't have gimmicks. Yeah, they did. The vehicles. The trigger machines and dial fighters. No, because they had a purpose. They were a part of the Megazord. No, I know, but they They're, were also the, the, the collectible gimmicks. They weren't like collectible gimmicks in the sense of being a collectible gimmick, though. 
How like would you have to collect like like yeah, there was like fifty big, dial fighters. Yeah, like there was. Like, there were still a lot of them. No, but no, like, no, but between, they were like, still Ray souls and and two Tamas between like, like trigger machines and dial. Kage Dex is saying the cubes. The the Zords don't count as collectible gimmicks. No, nothing counts as a collectible gimmick unless they release like gash upon. The, or, like, the point is, I'm about. talking about things that attach to the morphers. Yes, and we have the Ryu souls, the dial fighters, and trigger machines. I say count. Uh, the Kutama. Things Q- like that. Kutama and Ryu Souls count as a gimmick, as much as Zudenchi's count. Yeah, they released and they released Gashapons of the Trigger Machines and Dial Fighters, just like any so other gimmick. Yeah, but they were like time. tiny little things. They weren't legit like gimmicks. So, anyways, okay. If if you don't count those, and this is our first gimmick-free Sentai since Go Busters. Yeah, right. Pr- pr- no, Zuo didn't have a gimmick then. That's like, what like, I'm... No, like, it had or, a or, gimmick, okay. but it didn't have a gimmick. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I got my arguments crossed. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so that's the look at the in-show Kira Majin. Oh, sweet, Mop. And then we have our first look at the toy version. All I can say is oof. Very oof. No, the, the, big, arm. No, the biggest <laughs> oof is the yellow Somebody arm. skipped, yeah. like, left arm dead. Yeah, it's just got <laughs> tiny little, like, deformed arm. I think they could have made the yellows, like... I, now I can tell by the Zords, like, they're all different sizes, and I was like, oh. Okay, cool. so when we were looking at the actual Megazord... You know what he did skip? Leg day. Yeah. <sighs> when we were looking at the actual Megazord from the show, I was like, why is the green car just, like, plopped up there on the shoulder completely pointlessly? And now that we see the toy version, we can see that the Megazord's head is actually popping out of the car. Oh, so it's like Hook from the Constructicons. You know what you're not going to be able to unsee, Chris? Huh? The fact that it looks like if Kamen Rider Zayo had a Zord by that chest. Ah! <laughs> no! Sentai Surprise, Zayo! Sentai tie. Zio. Uh, I like the helmet. <laughs> you can't not see it now, right? Fuck you. <laughs> I just, I you just s- ruined the series. Before. Oh my god! Why do you do this to me? You make the thumbnail. It's the Megazord, but with Zio's head in the chest. God damn it! Yay. Uh, that episode hasn't aired yet, and already it's like, well, I guess I gotta can't wait for this to be over next year. Kirby's, <laughs> but yeah, just that. Yeah, the biggest problem with the mech is the. Okay, when you look at it from that photo, it doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't look that bad. No, it, it doesn't look as bad as everyone says it is. That thing definitely don't have knees, though. I think they did this in the wrong order. If the Green Ranger is supposed to be the speed one, I think they should have had the green car Zord be the feet, and then the, the fire truck could have been the torso, the head, and the one arm. But by tropes, the red has to be biggest. It's true. Yeah, because red's the mascot of the team. Yeah, but carries the team. They, it could have, the red Zord could have been the torso and the upper chest and the arm and the head, and then the green parts could have been just the lower feet. I'm a torso. Uh... People, someone knows on the uh, blue. Zio will haunt you till the day you die, Itchy. Uh, Evidently. Someone pointed out on the blue Zord that it has connector ports where it looks like it'll connect to, like, the feet. Yeah, I think that goes to my theory on blue and pink being their own Zord. Either that or uh, blue will become, like, an extension of the feet or something. I kind of I kind of don't like that the blue Zord is nothing but the sword in the full five-part combo. I kinda that it's like it's like uh, it's like Yakumo's uh sort of jet dr- dragon maru and how uh the tail of the sword became the sword and be yeeted what do you think of the mech Kevin? some say yeet or be yeet. i like it <laughs> the shiny oh uh, shiny i do like that it almost looks like it's made of like a translucent plastic yeah like i yeah. love that crystal effect it has it reminds me of like so you realize in, in 10 years these zords are going to fall apart right yeah because it <laughs> Oh yeah, other news story. I got I got Go Buster. Oh, you got Go Buster. It's a big yeah, and then one. and then it's I made it and then I made it into Great Buster, in which holy shit was that a pain in the ass to actually make? Yeah. But does it does it is it good? Or? Oh yeah, it's good. Like that. If is you're pre- not careful with the points, it becomes Go Busted. <laughs> I will say I kind of really like the design of the 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 machines individually. How much did yes. it cost? A uh, hundred and twenty before. For shipping? That's pretty good for like a ten, almost a ten year old mech. Great, great. I paid ninety US for it. Yeah. So like exchange rate. Yeah, and uh, we also got app. We got proper oh, confirmation that the the red version. No, no, that's not the Hasbro one. Oh. 
We got confirmation that the red version of the green Zord, the, the sports car, is like a lottery bonus item. Yeah. So I think it's anyone who pre-orders Kiramazin will probably get it. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if we should jump on that. I, I kind of want to get this Mac, but how much is it going to be, though? We don't have that information yet. It's going to be releasing March 7th, though. Since the Red, since oh, the yeah, red I'll Sword... Time. I'll have enough time. Since, since Machine that. Fire is, like, bigger, I think it's going to have, like, electronics in it. Because, like, Maybe. I think they all have to have voices or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I think so. All right. And then next we have some more information on the Kira Major series. Apparently the intro song, which unsurprisingly is called Machine Sentai Kira Major, is being performed by Tokusatsu veteran Yohei Onishi, who did the openings for Ninja and Zuoja. And then the ending song, Kira Full Mirakuru Kira Meja, is being performed by Takashi Deguchi. Kira Full like Mirakuru Kira Meja. So I have the lyrics here. It and like no it's... surprise, it is very much about jewels. Uh huh. It is very jewel heavy. Uh -huh. And kind of slice of life ish in a way. The lyrics go uh, Dreams last so long, even after you're gone. I know that you love me, and soon you will see you were meant for me, and I was meant for you. So what's that actually the lyrics to? Yeah, uh, You Were Meant For Me by Jewel. <laughs> yes. It's like, oh yeah, the Jewels, Jewels, Jewels. I'm like, man, but funny if Jewel sang the opening song. Now I want, once the theme song, like once the opening comes out, I'm going to like rip it and put Jewel, that song to it. Like have it so that that's like very faintly in the background. So. Just one of their on-screen sponsors is Jewel, the e-cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> e-cigarettes. Uh, so yes, Kira Major will be starting March 8th, so we'll bring you all the news that comes to us in the approaching weeks. All the news that's fit to complain about. Yep. Next! Comrade Gashapon releases for January announced. Normally I wouldn't bother with this, but I thought these were so weirdly adorable that I wanted to highlight them. Mm. This is the Comrade Zero One Big Air set, and features four inflatable gadgets based on things in Zero One, including... <laughs> The Force Riser. Oh. That's adorable. The Zetsuma Riser with Dodo Key. Oh my god. The Attach Arrow. And the Authorized Buster. Oh, itchy. You should take a look at that thing in chat there. God damn it. The last time they didn't... You will not escape me. Yeah! God you damn it. my will. Well, at least you saved me the trouble of photoshopping it. You I... Uh, I remember the last time you got, like... like Blown up weapons like this was when they did the uh, uh, Gridon's weapon. Oh yeah, you got the the Don. Oh yeah, the Don Gritty. Yeah. Where does I don't know what it's called. A Cure Mason remind me of. I've seen it before somewhere. Who? Hmm? Uh, so the big air set will be two hundred yen each for anyone who's interested in those. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't, if I saw them at a convention, I'd buy the shit out of those to bring them on the show. Next, we have... I see shit like that at cons sometimes. Yeah. So Usually next... Kurtz is selling it. <laughs> next, we have Soto Stage images for Zero One, Shining Assault, Hopper, and Thouser. And as, the ca as is the case with Soto Stage figures, they're kind of okay. They're kind of okay. They're not terrible! Some forms, these are the only versions you'll That's ever get. That's even better. Yeah. That was, oh, Thazer looks a little okay, Matt. <laughs> I like how we're all just agreeing on a little okay. Yeah. Oh, God, someone made the Trinity version! Yeah! No, we need to use the Trinity version. <laughs> we're supposed not to know about that one! <laughs> that version's not coming I out. I like the Trinity version way more. That's what I wanted when I said put Zio's face on the chest. Can I just quickly get some water? Of course. Yep. All right. Uh, Shining Assault Hopper is out January 27th. Thousands out in February. Next! <laughs> Premium Bandai heat and folding fans yeah, from the New Year's bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. The Premium Bandai will sell anything. Pretty much. Remember that thing you saw that time? We'll sell it. Fonzo's shirt from episode one. They did. Yeah. The dirty shirt. Yep. Yep. Ages yeah. underwear. Yep. Hey, oh. <laughs> Akiko slipper. Akiko I'm surprised slipper. they're not selling like replicas of Take the uh, of the flower arrangements. <laughs> I just said we didn't get Leo's dreadlocks. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get it. 
Yeah. So the uh, Hidden Intelligence Folding Fans will go for 2,200 yen, including tax, shipping in April 2020. I'm not paying like 30 to 40 dollars for a fan. No, I'm thank su- you. I'm surprised they don't jack it up even more than that. Emily, could you grab me a, a, a Pepsi? Oh, you oh, grab- out of the fridge. Out of my fridge. Oh, uh, where? In my room. Oh, okay. Next. As hinted on when we talked about Comrade Jin, we are in fact getting the Comrade Horobi SH Figuarts. Yeah, it looks all evil and stuff. I guess you could say it looks horrible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're, am I the first person or the worst person to make that joke? <laughs> Kevin, you're ready to you're ready to work out because that was a stretch. <laughs> hey, it comes with the attach arrow. Yep, you damn well better. I wish he came with like an effect part of like him doing like that super long like oh, tail. Oh, Zetsumetsu that... Dystopia. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or they'll sting, sting God, Dystopia. God knows they'll just release an effect part. Oh, oh Zetsumetsu Dystopia. I I remember where I where I've seen the the helmet before. What? Huh? Reminds me of Big One. Oh. Big. Why? So uh, the Comrade Horby Figure Arts will be releasing in June for sixty fifty yen before shipping and fees. And yeah, such. it's it's, it? it's weird yeah. how yeah like I'm, I'm, I might as well mention it. It's weird how this figure got announced after Common Rider Jin. Well, technically, Jin it happened in the show Rider. first. Yeah, but think of it this way: Jin got the Jin Figure Art got announced first before Horby, but Horby's coming out before Jin. Yeah. Hmm. That's a bit weird. It is a could. It's anything to do with, like, it could be like a thousand different things. A thousand different things. It could be something like, hey, we have a defect in the mold that we need, that the prototype, you know, found. We have, like, you know, maybe we're not getting enough of that dye in for production. Like, it could be literally anything. No, I've, got, I've got it. They, the, the figures pulled a small soldiers and tried to take over the world and destroy humanity, so they had to make a second production line. Damn it, Ichi, there goes my script for, for a Cast Ranger skit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next. Oops, there goes another Cast Ranger skit. So, unfortunately, the actress who plays Izu Nora Tsurushima has been uh, attracting some negative attention. That's really a shame. It, nothing, not through any fault of her own, but apparently there have been a lot of fans filming and taking pictures of her without her consent, and she took to Twitter to berate them. Oh. Rightly so. Oh. Fuck off. So, the translation of her tweet is... Fuck off. <laughs> No, I think it's longer. Fuck off! It's not good to take a hidden picture in a train station or anywhere, and I have no choice but to stop them. No matter how good your intentions are, it is still wrong because I see many people doing things like that. I feel bad that day. A.K.A. Fuck off! Pretty well. Time for Tom's instructions on how to not be an asshole. Don't do Do the following. Hello. Very nice to meet you. May I take a photo with you for my Facebook? Yes. Okay, cool. Takes photo. No. Okay, have a good day. I like your work. <laughs> no, no, Kaguya, we can't have the title of the episode be Fuck Off because that oh, got demonetized. Yeah, any episode we had that has fuck in the title got demonetized. Gar, Gar, from now on, I want, you to say, I want you to say, I want you to say, heck off. You can always <laughs> just make the title of the episode, I feel bad that day. <laughs> I kind of like that. Sure. <laughs> no, biggest question of all, how can big ones see? Uh, How can any of them see? <laughs> Dude, have you watched this fandom? <laughs> uh, yeah, but how can he see? At least with black visors, you could argue that it's sunglass right, technology. Let me see it. I'll tell you exactly how he does it. Like he, like he's you got this hole. I can see the holes in the helmet from there without oh, yeah. even zooming in. No, yeah, I can see he had those back then. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the grill in a night helmet. Like that's how they actually legit you, saw. You try to fucking see through a rainbow colored helmet. You try seeing through rainbows. <laughs> I am I am the Izu guardian, guardian of the Izu Poseidon quivers before him. Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. It's a vine. It's a vine. Just think of it the same way that like a two way mirror works. Yeah. Just because you can't see in my helmet, I can see very well outside the helmet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Next. There, I, 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 I am waiting for the parad. Penny Bandai announces GoGo Five Navy Coach Jacket. Gimme! Oh, gimme, 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 yeah, gimme, 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 gimme. Guys watching GoGo Five right now. Super Rescue Lab. Yep. Fat, hey, Dad. Thanks for showing up ten years. Uh, 
after 10 years of being gone and leaving mom alone to the point where she died alone. Thanks, asshole. No, I want one. So, I, I want it. Had. Premium Bandai announced the release of the GoGo 5 Navy Coach Jacket from episode 23 of GoGo 5. All right. Or, so, sorry, from the 23rd Sentai. Time to <laughs> slim down to a U.S. large. I mean, Good I mean, I'd rather, Challenge I'd rather, accepted. I'd rather have, like, the old, cool orange jackets they have. I think it would. I think it would just be cheaper to have someone else make me one. <laughs> it would be. That wouldn't fit Gar's. Dick. I love that. Picture, by the way. I, I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. No problem. Oh, get Sucker out of here, Madam! Right now. What? <laughs> just. Let's not get into that. I, I, I like. I've I now Gar. Your your penis is officially named U.S. Large. <laughs> if you're in US Japan, large. if you're in Japan, you can call it XL. <laughs> I like the name Lane came up for it. What's that? U.S. Garge. U.S. Garge. <laughs> extra Garge. Oh, extra Garge. There you go. Right. What's the name of this episode? Extra Garge. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Alright, alright. All right. Let's stop talking about my dick. <laughs> oh my god! This photo that's... Go- oh, where is it? It's gotta be... Oh, it's a uh, scroll up. This I hope photo. it's not a photo of Gar's dick. No, it's a photo of something Gar said. What? No, scroll down to the Izu. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. She's been watching wow. Vans, not the shoes. Oh, 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 oh Dan, I got a Daniel. Sh- uh, I, got a, I got some stuff to share. Uh, I didn't have a chance to draw the new stuff, but uh, here's drawing that I'm working on right now. That's why it's not done. It's not done because I'm working on it. Or yeah. she's just wearing white, and it here's is done. Here's unfinished drawing. <laughs> Or it could just be that she's wearing white and it is done. Yes, that's that's Rebel, the you can't that's tell player the... that's player two version. That's the proto version. Uh, but no, uh, I also have okay. So uh, I found some uh, some. Uh, uh, would you count Sailor? What Sailor Moon? Uh, to, not Tokusatsu esque. Well, there has been a ta- Sailor to- Moon tokusatsu. tokusatsu adjacent. There has been a Sailor Moon Tokusatsu. So. Well, I, I saw you know Emily. You know, and anybody here? Do you like Sailor Moon Magic Wands? Yeah, sure. Well, check these ones out that I found earlier. Check these ones out. Cool. Oh, Have yourself a magic stick toy. Well, <laughs> Dude, it's like a blue recolor of the fucking it crystal is. staff. That's cool. Yeah. It's got we, music, with, too. Designed with wonderful magic sound and colorful light. <laughs> I would 100% actually The with buy music them. magic toy. Where stick did you toy. find it? At College Station <laughs> in this like weird Japanese uh, like Nick Careful, store. it's for three, ages three and up. Giggity. Oh, yes. Yeah, Giggity. So, <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Giggity with a question mark? No. None of that. Uh, Hellfire pointed out in our chat that there was some talk going around that Yui's actress uh, has been sick, and that's why she hasn't been on the last few episodes of Your Soldier. Oh. That, the, the space and time paradox will answer the answers. Oh, God. We are the space and time paradox. So anyway, the GoGo Five jacket. Oh yeah. Uh, Go-Go it will go for eighty eight hundred yen, including tax, and will be shipping in March. Yeah, you know, the show that I haven't watched all week that I need to binge tomorrow. Well, did you already finish Aka Ranger? Oh no, no, I haven't watched any Sentai. So tomorrow, Ranger? so tomorrow I'm gonna watch a bunch of it. I'm gonna Com- be... Common Rider Paradox. No, it's the Space and Time Paradox. Go watch Monster Island Buddies. It's a pretty good show. Yeah. Next. Uh, another spy shot from the set of Zero One has revealed what looks like uh, Zero One Middle Cluster. Oh, I cannot wait to see this form. Are you sure that's just not Omazia? <laughs> Stop talking about Zio. Why? No, you don't no, you, you you want is something shut... wrong with Zio? <laughs> you didn't Z- like Zio. Oh, remind you, is, is even Z- after the... Zio's gone, is, is, we were meant to torment is you. Is Zio like the Fantastic Four? Can we talk about like, Zio again? Like, we don't want to talk. Like, no, no. You know what? No. That's what it is. Kamen Rider Zio. And over it, quartz, no, sir. It, it's the Fantastic <laughs> Four of Kamen Rider. It tried to do so much, but failed. But in the end, it, it didn't even matter. No. And it does, yeah, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but you got to give it respect. The hell I do! <laughs> May I uh, refer you to the uh, case of... Savage Caster versus Zio fanboys. <laughs> Waz was the only good thing in that show, and right. I will stick by that. Um, Moving it, on! He was the man. He What's stuck next? by it, too. He had a stick. <laughs> that was his shtick. 
And that was, and that's Lightcaster. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you Kevin's just spoiled your new name. Lightcaster now. We saw the light. All right. Next. Is that a bra? What's next? Uh, so it's, it's, this it's happened. So be- this happened before the casting announcement, but apparently Masashi Taniguchi, who played Kamen Rider Amazon Alpha, uh, has expressed on Twitter his desire to be in Kira Major. Specifically, he said he wanted to be the mentor, even though that now belongs to Pineapple I, Guy. I would have liked to have Go Blue come back as the mentor, even though it wouldn't have been Go Blue. Yeah. Though it is funny because I did ask one of the Power Ranger actors recently from Wild I Force want, if they I just wanted back. to show up. Like, and just murder everyone? Yes. I just wanted to show up as a fucking alpha. And just murder everyone. I was <laughs> I was forget, Lane was Lane saw an episode of uh, Go Go Five while I was watching. He's like, "Oh my goodness, he looks so young." Yeah, Lane. It's like if Amazon's air came out like eighteen years after. Also, Go-Go also 5. you have facial hair in as Go Blue. So yeah. that's why. All it's amazing how much facial Go-Go hair 5. can change change your style. I don't know, I Lane. Don't... You still look like you're ten, even with facial hair. <laughs> yeah, Lane. Ow! You can't grow a beard like mine. I'm trying. I shaved this morning! What? Because I've got oh, a crazy... What was it, Tim Allen from the Santa Claus? Yeah. He shaved and then just... In just this and just in the thing. morning, I'm getting a CAT scan! Alright, <laughs> my Christmas sport. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Next! <laughs> ooh, ooh. So, so, quick story time. So, there's this fan subgroup called Minifold Curiosity, or A Million Fold Curiosity. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> These summer groups are getting weird with their names. And which, they subbed all of Space Sheriff Gavon. Oh. Both in DVD and Blu-ray rip. I don't know how to tell you that, but we're talking about that, that, I know. I'm getting there. They <laughs> the, No. And get this. So, they subbed this back in, like, end of 2016, beginning of 2017. And they announced, hey, we're going to do Space Sheriff Sh- uh, Sherry Van. Or Sherry Van as Shriven. well. And nothing happened until February of last year where they're like, oh yeah, we're halfway through the show and we're going to re release it. Metallic fan subs. I'm sick of fucking waiting. Hold my beer. <laughs> Here's 10 episodes, guys. Whoa. Hold my Joe Chuck. Also, here, I'm doing Shiner next. Thank you, Metallic Fansos, for binge releasing fucking Toku shows. Yep. Thanks to him. Just, again, he's picking up a show where the fan subbers were like, oh yeah, we're going to do it and never get back to it. <laughs> yeah. They said they'd do it this afternoon, but the afternoon never came. And we're like, after you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, check out Space Sheriff Shadilan. No, don't. Why not? Because it's a direct sequel to Gavon. We'll check out Gavon first, then. There you go. Go watch Gavon, <laughs> and then watch Sharivan. Also, it's from the 80s, in which, bad shit 80s. Or if you're too lazy to watch all the three original series, you just watch the movies. Yeah. No, that's not good. That's yeah, not good enough. Just watch VR Troopers. Watch Dante's Abs the movie. It's great. Pretty well. <laughs> it's, wasn't this a VR Trooper? No. This was not a VR Trooper. Was it a Beetleborg? No. no. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad? No, that was Gridman. Oh, okay. Which, by the way... Beetle Kai- was Juko B-Fighter. Kai- uh, Kaiju Sentai Ultra Ranger. We talk about Gridman, and we're finishing up it soon. Yeah, I heard Gridman's not very good. It, it, no, it is the greatest fucking show ever. It, it's I'm pretty funny. You, <laughs> you are asking someone... Who likes Gridman? Biased. Fucking nobody. You know who likes Ultraman? <laughs> fucking nobody. <laughs> hey, man. Quote. When I was 14 years old, I knew who Ultraman was, because I had a Super Nintendo game in a lot of spare time. <laughs> that was Ultraman <laughs> great. That game was pretty More good. More like yeah. Ultraman So So! I enjoyed when I had to fight Guidus, and then later Guidus too. That's a clone high joke. Next! What's next? Holy shit, Power Rangers Ninja Steel star William Schaffelt <laughs> uh, appeared in a Power Ranger fan film titled Rise uh, Power Rangers Rise of the Ninja. I'm no lawyer, but that's kind of not what they want you to do. I, I, <laughs> wa- I watched it, and you want to know the sad part? Was it no His good? acting was better than, in this than in the actual show. <laughs> you want to know the sadder part about this as well? Yes. It's only like three minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> One of the worst part of all? What? He acted better in three no. minutes of fan content than an entire professionally produced production? Yes. <laughs> but you want to know the worst part of all? See Ninja there? Yeah, it's on Ninja. 
No, Ninja shows up in like the very last second in NQ credits. That suit looks cool. You though. mispronounced his name. It's Ninja Man. Exactly. Ninja Man. No, I, like Frankie. I like Ninja because of his silly voice. I must voice. channel the power of the Ninja. So is this like real canon? Or no, this is fan. Are you guys talking about really cool voices for for characters? No, Dragon Ball. We're Steven talking ninjas. about Ninja. You guys never call me anymore. Someone on Twitter. Someone I'm on Twitter sorry, posted the. Now I demand next week that I am going to be on the show. Well, don't worry. Aka, For the whole episode, would you like that? Aka Yellow will show up next week. Two then we can have two blowhards competing for attention. But Aka Yellow... Oh, How's yes, that different than the five that are usually here? Well, Aka it's Yellow not... is a bigger Okay, four asshole. and Emily. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, if you... Anyway, I'll go. I'll see you next week if the fans want it. So, Post in the comments. So, 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 yeah. If you want to watch him just monologuing to himself for like three minutes... Is it one of those things where it's like they really don't have any production value, so they just have them in one spot doing as much as they can? Yep. Figured. Brody, so this is actually his character too. Brody Romero must travel the galaxy to learn from past ninjas. Oh. After he successfully finds the legendary ninja, his training officially begins. A war is coming and Brody Romero mastering his ninja skills are our only chance of survival. Unfortunately. So we're fucked. Exactly. Unfortunately, we do not have the budget to show any of these other rangers. How much How much you want to bet that it's like they ran into him at a convention. They're like, I got an idea for a fan film. And he's like, I don't have much going on. <laughs> I ain't doing I ain't doing anything. All I know is Megaforce Yellow always isn't like anything fan film. You want to know the sad part about that, though? Is Jason David Frank She's away still- that weekend? <laughs> so what? She still wears the same fucking outfit. I know. I feel so sorry for the Megaforce cast having to wear the exact same outfit throughout that series. God. No, Ichi. The every episode they had the exact same outfit. We kept seeing Emma so, in those fucking so wait, short so shorts. When they did the stock footage morph sequence, did they have those clothes on? Yes. Good, because I was going to say if they didn't, what's the fucking point? Like, it's weird. And, like, they acknowledge that a year has passed in that show. No, it's okay. It's, like, it's okay, because every episode is just the day after laundry day. <laughs> they bought those shirts were on sale. They bought seven of them. They bought, yeah. They and bought Gobble seven Hero of is right. Over. Emma was best. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch that show. Well, Gar gargles in the corner. Uh, so yeah. That needs to be a name of a new show. Gar Gargles. Gargles. <laughs> Welcome to the Gargles. I'm Gar. How's that any different from you normally talking? Welcome it's to Gargles. It's not. Welcome to Gargles. I, I need to save it that. It sounds like a fucking, like, shitty restaurant. Yeah, it's like... It's I, I, like I gotta keep Welcome it. to Gargles. It's the like guy's a... got, like, glasses, but the lenses are Gar's face. <laughs> And they're also goggles. Gargles. Gargles. Oh god, that needs to be. And the pair of goggles comes with every Happy Meal. That needs to be in the thumbnail. Your official gargles. I don't know. I'm just picturing Disney's gargles, but they all have Gar's face on them. (laughs) Gargles. It's it's funny. My voice was so bad the other day. I actually started just doing Keith David impressions to customers. Hello there. Uh, I can't do it now because I'm better. (laughs) (laughs) The popcorn machine is down. Pretty much. I was like, I sound better today. Anyway. Gargle, gargle. (laughs) Moving on. Our last news story is that the actress has been revealed for the mysterious cloaked figure in in the recent episodes of Zio. Is anyone we know? Is anyone we know? Nope. Uh, Brand new character. Uh, Look, Ichi. It only took us. A week to find out, and not 12 years, like Yuto's older actor. Right? <laughs> so, apparently, uh, Satsuki Nakayama is the one playing the new character in Zero One. Can that be the title of the episode? Gar Gargles? Um, <laughs> uh... Gar Gargles and Extra Garge. Ex- no, just put Extra Garge. That's the best joke we got out of that. <laughs> extra Garge. Aww. I just put Extra Gar. Yeah. Because I'm hot. <laughs> I, you say I, you're I, I got him lame. Oh shit, are we still recording? Yes. Yeah. Why, do you think that the episode just stopped when we did- <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I thought right we're there. ending the episode now. We're just stopping talking. <laughs> so, are you okay? Stop talking. 
It's very hard for Gar. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay, Gar? Yes, <laughs> because, I... like, your face is, like, super red. Um. It's okay. Anyways, oh, she, she's pretty. I like, I like women with short hair, so. Yes. And yeah, that's the news. I like my women like I like my Starbucks coffee. Short. Holy shit. With short like hair. Juice. Wow. <laughs> like, 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 like Gar, Gar. Gar just down an entire fucking jug of juice. It's called a pitcher. That's impressive. What did it's called? Called a jug. I'm just imagining. The American like, name is that pitcher. is bigger Canadian than a jug. jug. That's a pitcher. That's a jug. <laughs> I've always called it a jug as a kid. Gar, can you please blow across the top of that container? If it makes a charming musical sound, it's a jar. If not, a it's jar. a pitcher. Wait, this is your this is your jar. <laughs> That's my metric. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Yes, this Ooh, is your this metric to whether or not he can play. He can play. Wait, wait, wait. No guard. No, no. I want to finish what I'm saying here. So, uh, this is uh, um, your metric for something if is a jug or a jar or not. Or a whether pitcher. You can, uh, is it, if it's a pitcher or not. Is whether you can play a melody by blowing across the top of the opening. I'm setting up for a joke and I'm stalling. <laughs> well, while you stall for time, thanks everyone for listening for Extra Extra Cast Ranger. And there's no button on the button thing for blowing uh, thanks, jar thanks band. Thanks for joining us, Keba. Absolutely. It was a blast, and I look forward to being here was, again. Was it a Another brain blast? Time. Was it a blast from the past? A blast from the... It was a, I blasted somebody's past. Was it <laughs> we talked about Gaim, and you looked Don't Gaim blast in my past. I remember Gaim. Are we still Manmer? talking about that? Yeah. Manmer? Oh my god, we are still talking about that. Yeah, remember so, Gaim? So He's remember, back remember, in Pogborn. Remember when Zogetsu didn't die like you predicted? Like I predicted? Like I said the whole fucking time? <laughs> you just ended up... Washed up on an island, someone found him on a boat. Absolutely ridiculous, and now he's got a stage play. I cannot believe there is badass, time in 2019. Badass new form, I new <laughs> new figure. It's like, <laughs> I have no idea what happened, but, like, Kamen Rider, like, sent me back in time to, like, fulfill my destiny. That was <laughs> Kamen Rider in, tw- uh, Gaim in 2019 about... Zongetsu's new super form that is Kajidoki. It's like yeah, Abba, what? And the henshin sequence was pretty cool in the stage show. I have to see it. Yeah, it's How pretty awesome. Do a henshin in a they they put like a curtain in front of him, and then it does the animation of the sequence, and then he it, the curtain goes back up, and he's done, okay, and it's, that's, it's actually, that's actually awesome. I love that. That's pretty cool. And the figure is out too. Is it subbed yet? Uh, no. no. The figure. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it has English on the no, box. No, it's out on DVD. The stage play. Yeah. <laughs> when it's out, when it's out, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll yes. have you on, of course. Oh my so, goodness! Hey Tom, gosh. have we sold long enough? I come back full. Oh circle. no, no, I. I, uh, I couldn't find... It. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he you... gave up and he went back. <laughs> wait, okay, right. we're stalling for me. I'm doing it anyway. Hang on. That's what we were talking about. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just think it's... Should I, I do the thousand driver demonstration again? No, 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 no. I'm doing it now. Hang on. Hang so, on. So guys, this joke has to happen. Hang on, hang on. Let Tom do it. We'll edit it and it sound, it'll sound much better. So, there's, there's news so, hey, about, weather. There's news about Betty White. She turned 98. Cool. Christ. She's 98. Soon, right soon she's going to hit my level cap. <laughs> and then go beyond. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, there was fan art of fucking Sia with the Force Rider. Yeah, the Force Rider just makes any fucking rider look awesome. Yeah, it actually looks cool. Ugh. Can we have one of Drive? Can we have a Force Rider of like? Uh, we had one. It was called Super Dead Heat. I know. If they put him in the Force Riser, it would look almost exactly like Super Dead Heat. Oh, I should put the drive key in the Force Riser, and that's I'll get Super Dead Heat. Fucking (laughs) yay! Someone, someone, shop a Force Riser on the Super Dead Heat. Hey, look, a switch, switch. Switch, switch. (laughs) All right, here we go. Wait, wait, I got, I got to set up. Oh my god, Aquarius always creates a great atmosphere. Sensitive core. All right, here we go. Here we go. Jar, uh, jar, jar. Uh, Gar. Gar, blow in that jar. Let's see what happens. I can't. I already did it. All right, blow in the jar. You ready? Three, two, one. That's a fucking flute. Wow. Gar, that's impressive. Gar's pretending to play the jug. Daniel Sun. I also like how you didn't understand what I meant by blow across the opening. You're like blowing Mr. Miyagi, into it. What are you doing there? Great technique. 
All right, now we're gonna get zapped for sure. Go watch the Karate Kid on Blu-ray now. What the no, fuck happened no, in this episode? Go watch it on 4K. Yeah, I thought you were saying go watch the 4K. Come back, I'll never do it again. <laughs> no, please come back anytime. Well, it ended with with Lane dabbing to the to be continued music. So Damn I don't it. know exactly what. It's pretty funny. I don't know what the gold standard is. <laughs> Well, Alright, thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the podcast oh, wait, wait, proper. Play, play us out, Gar. No. 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 Wrong video, never mind. No. <laughs> what was that? Cut that out. <laughs> okay, bye.